Well, it's sure wonderful to be back down here in this beautiful desert country on the edge of the Sea of Cortez. I had the pleasure uh, about seven or eight years ago of, actually, gosh, more like 17 uh, years ago of hunting this country once before on the Seri Indian Reservation. And uh, I just haven't uh, ever seen any more beautiful desert country than this with all the varieties of cactus and the aqua blue ocean and these rugged rocky peaks all around where the sheep live. And, and uh, this is just our first day, but we're so happy to be setting up camp and getting ready to hunt tomorrow. And hopefully tonight we can spot some rams uh, in the evening and see where they bed down and be on them first thing in the morning. But it's great to be back again. I, I, uh, I really love this country. Machos. Somebody spot a ram. There's a good shot of him. What power do you have that uh, spotting scope set on? I don't know, probably 40. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Standing there like a silhouette, like a statue. He's looking right down at us now. He's broomed, but he's but he's at least three quarter curl, I'd say. Well, I've hunted all my life with just a bow and arrow, but um, when the compound was invented, I uh, started hunting with uh, with that for more often than not for thirty some years, and then a little over a decade ago, I went back to my roots and. Uh, began hunting strictly with traditional archery gear, longbows and recurves, and, and I'm going to be using a recurve on this hunt with cedar arrows, and uh, I realize uh, that sets the bar pretty high and the odds are pretty slim, but uh, you, you know, you got to have that impossible dream, and you know, occasionally they come true. All right, perfecto. Two of them. I just see they're a bit of white on their hind ends. What's the plan? Okay, remember the rock outcropping they were on? Yeah, uh, the high one up there, yeah. They, they fed to the left, maybe huh. 80, 80 yards in the brush and they laid down. We're gonna go up this draw, come across to that rock outcropping, we're gonna be very close. Yeah. And we're gonna sit on that we're rock. We're gonna sit and watch. And watch and hope the wind doesn't blow up. Yeah. And be ready for them to move. As soon as the sun comes around this way, they may get up and move to some shade in the middle of the day. We may be there all day. We may be there till night. They might move right up against that rock. They may come to us. They may go away from us. But either way, we're ready for a stalk. Yeah. Sounds good. They moved that white t-shirt, completely removed it. Uh, that was the signal that the sheep had buggered off and that uh, there wasn't any point in continuing the stalk. So I guess we got to hike all the way back down there and think about another opportunity. Try and find one. <laughs> It looks pretty good to me, Dennis. Either one of those last two arrows would have killed him. Planet.
is we've got two rams found down here. Both of them are good for Dennis and his bow. Um, one's really good. We've got a little white peak that's above where these rams are. I think we're gonna have Dennis, maybe Renee, and you walk way around. And if you can get to the top of that peak without boogering them, they know we're here way out here, about a thousand yards. Then maybe we can ease up through there and uh, I'm not gonna say drive them, but get them, get them moving in your direction possibly. Mm -hmm. If not, maybe you can come down and take a look at them. I don't know, it's the best we got with the bow. You help me find him. Find him? Still that on. last one looked like a real good one. Well, well this morning, shortly, shortly after the sun came up, about an, a half an hour, uh, our crew spotted two uh, really nice rams about a mile and a half away, uh, pretty high up on the mountain. And we devised a plan to try and uh, outsmart them. But in the end, with a change in the wind, we got within 500 yards and they outsmarted us and uh, took off for parts unknown. But it was, uh, it was worth the effort. It was our second stock we made in, in two days. And uh, a rifle hunter could have had a shot at those rams at 500 yards. One of them was standing on a rock for a while. But um, they didn't come any further our direction. They had been coming our way. And then uh, I think they got uh, whiff of our, our wind with a change in wind direction that only lasted a few seconds, but sometimes that's enough. Um, and so we're off to look for more rams tonight and tomorrow. Maybe we'll make another stock. <laughs> stock but I'm not sure that we blew it. I think that just uh, fate conspired against us on this one. But at least we saw two ewes and uh, I spotted a young ram nobody had seen and then that ram that uh, uh, Rene was uh, convinced was, would come our way eventually did but he passed below this cliff way out of sight below us and went up that far cliff over there up to the top of the mountain. 
rifle hunter could have shot him, but not a bow hunter. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Fantastico. <laughs> so also, good. but there's not just scallops in here. There's cooked shrimp. Fresh shrimp caught right here in the Sea of Cortez. So we've got avocado. We have onions. We have tomato pieces, all chopped up in little pieces and little scallops and shrimp. And it's, it's heaven. I mean, you can't get this stuff in a five-star hotel any better. Ask me what drew me to uh, joining the pro membership sweepstakes offered by uh, Sportsman's News. The membership was uh, annually was less than $300 and I decided it was well worth it uh, to get involved and there are a lot of other perquisites as well to membership but the drawings of course are a big draw not to make a pun. And uh, so I joined in the first year. I hadn't been a member a full year before I got drawn last August for this Desert Chief Hunt. Of all the hunts to get drawn for, this is probably the most coveted one of all. Well, Rene got his job done, and I didn't get mine done. Whoa. I had a wonderful shot opportunity, not close. It was probably around 45 yards. Really? But uh, I shot it for a little under 40, instinctively. 
there was a, a big hollow between me and the little arm of the swale he ran across up onto. And uh, when he stopped, I had a perfect shot. He was quartering away from me. And uh, what I've noticed so many times is if you have a concave surface between you and your target, it makes it look further than it is. And oftentimes I've shot high because of that effect where it's closer than it really looks. Well, today I decided I wasn't going to shoot high, so I shot low. <laughs> you got to take advantage of an opportunity, when, especially when you're desert sheep hunting, because you're not likely to get many shot opportunities and probably none at under 20 yards unless you're incredibly lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I could go home happy because uh, even though I haven't yet killed a ram, I do have four days left, mm -hmm. and I may get I may not get another shot opportunity. But I had one, and I, I've always had the philosophy that if I go out on a bow hunt for a trophy animal, and I get at least one shot opportunity, then the good Lord has blessed that hunt for sure, and it was up to me to make it happen, and I didn't make it happen. So I go home <laughs> with no one to blame but myself, but having had a great adventure. Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by Alps Outdoors, exceed your expectations. PBA, it's just a better gun. Double Tap Ammunition, made with pride in the USA. Sitka, turning clothing into gear. Browning, the best there is. Schnell Trophy Cam HD. And brought to you by your local Ford stores, home to built Ford tough trucks. What's America's best-selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F-Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history.